Taking a live look outside right now. Boy, it was a gray overcast day. No complaints, right? But until you kind of look low across the sky, it was a pretty hazy. It's a lot of pollution out there. Our meteorologist Steve Gary is here. Brown cloud really <laughs> prevalent today. Any rain to maybe wash it out? We'd like to get the rain in here, but no right now, just these high clouds over the valley and you can see temperature wise, yeah, not too bad. We're at 73 degrees. We'd like to get some wind in here to scour out that brown cloud. Not much wind out of the southwest at five miles per hour. Let's check the radar. A lot of high clouds streaming out of the subtropical area where you see those clouds from the south. Now that green as they take in a little tighter. Most of this green is what we call Virga. That's rain that falls from the clouds but doesn't reach the ground. And so it's high level moisture staying up over the mountains. I'm not expecting much shower activity. Maybe a few light sprinkles here and there, primarily in the higher elevations through tonight. We'll talk more about the forecast in just a few minutes. All right, sounds good. We'll see you then. Thank you, Steve. Many of you have already been feeling the impact of all the pollution in the air, coughing, sneezing, eye, nose and throat irritation, you name it. Our Jason Berry joining us live near Piesto a peak to explain where all this pollution is coming from. Jason. Well, think of our valley as a big cooking pot where all the deaths, dust and pollutants from cars, trucks, factories and fireplaces settle in one place. Now, the recent cloud cover we've had is kind of like the lid on the pot, keeping it all in. What we need is some rain and to blow those clouds away to let the pollution out. There's something in the air and it's not good. You notice any pollution? Yeah, it's really weird. I, I have noticed it and I just thought it was maybe allergies or something going on. That hazy brown cloud still hovering over the valley means there's some serious pollution in the air. Arizona's Department of Environmental Quality has extended its high pollution advisory for Maricopa County through Friday. The advisory means dust and pollutant levels may exceed federal health standards. So it's very difficult. And that can be dangerous for folks like Sharon Rieger, who has some health issues. It's harder to breathe. I have a little bit of pain in my chest. Scratchy throat a little bit? A little bit, but more just, it's difficult. Go, 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 go! The pollution can also be a problem for kids. Joey Velasquez is making sure her four-year-old son Francisco doesn't spend too much time on the playground today. Francisco has asthma. When he runs a lot, he starts wheezing. And that's that's the, the first of the asthma start kicking in is the wheezing. So you got to be extra careful? <clears throat> yes. Especially on days like today? Yes. On air quality index? ADEQ Director Tim Franquist tells us there are a number of reasons for all the pollution in the air, the lack of rain over the past three months, very little wind to blow pollutants away, and the recent cloud cover keeping all the dust and dirt in one place. What we need now is rain. And certainly the air quality folks are, are hoping some winds and some rain kind of move that uh, dust particles out of the area. The rain kind of helps scrub the air particles and so the combination of some just decent winds uh, not overwhelming and some rain would really, really help the cause. Everyone is keeping their fingers crossed that we will get some rain the beginning of next week to wash this pollution away so everyone can breathe a little easier. Reporting in Phoenix for Arizona's family, I'm Jason Barry.